20 minute game. Let's just catch it. And catch her again. Don't want to go too far with the captures. I know the computer can make it work, but um, taking two is good enough for me because you end up losing time in developing your pieces. And that's the whole reason behind the gambits. So just attack the queen. Just attacking the pawn. We don't need to worry about that. We're plus two. We now need to look at trying to improve our position on the board. Has he landed on anything with the queen? Any more attacks on it? Let's take the knight. And I think I'm going to take now. The overnight in the game. He's look, maybe looking for, but there's nothing there at the minute. Bishop, no. Just attacking the B pawn. I think we should be able to go okay to castle. Did have size of a nice position here, but he's just brought his knight in. It does look like an odd move that knight move though, because where is it actually going? So he's coming out maybe to come back in. Has he got size of my queen? No, he's not going to come all the way across there. So out of choosing to castle and stuff like that, he's brought the knight here. Wait, what's it doing? Is it definitely going here? To go here to attack here. That's probably what we're looking to do. So the pawn is, hasn't got any protection on it. So we could just take the pawn and attack the queen. Has the queen landed on anything because they're moving so fast? No, nope. so the knight can come back and attack the queen. Or we could bring this knight into the game, attacking the queen, but also defending the knight but then the bishop will take the knight and our knight can take it back can't it so we're going to attack the queen and defend the knight bishop takes don't forget to take here oh it's putting a double whammy on so i'm going to take the queen and the opponent's left the game I think I fell into a similar type situation like that as well, <laughs> forgetting that the knight was on the queen. <laughs> 